Hello my dear Gemini's this is Clarity 1129 welcome to your May 2023 monthly predictions and for all those May born Gemini's out there wish you a very happy birthday and uh wish you a lot of happiness abundance and everything that you wish for all right hmm <clears throat> this is how I was supposed to start your reading all right now we will be following the usual formats decks uh have been changed a bit for this month's reading but otherwise the format is going to be more or less the same and while i shuffle your moonology deck for your overarching energy let me let you know that there has been a solar eclipse on the 20th of april and there is going to be a lunar eclipse on the 5th of may and this and there is a mercury retrograde uh, which is, has already begun on the 21st of april and will carry on till the 14th of may So there are powerful things that are happening in our sky, and that they have a direct impact on us. I have done readings for the same, and I'll put them in the description box below if you haven't seen them already. And if you're called to, please do watch them. They give you some sort of guidance. I've even done a new moon in Taurus, because that also talks about what you need to release during this time, which is very powerful. All right. So I'll put those um, readings for you. and now let's get uh started with your reading for the month so the overarching energy for the month my dear gemini is a time for healing bulbs make moon all right so this is going to be a major theme because there are a lot of things that are going to come up from the past for processing because the retrogrades and the eclipses bring everything up so that we can finally process it heal from it and then let it go all right so you are in this uh, phase of healing during this time this is my latest deck the giant rider weight so it's my favorite rider weight and it's in this huge size even i didn't expect it to be so huge actually i knew it will be bigger than most but i didn't think it will be so huge and that i'll have a problem shuffling anyway but i love it i'm actually loving it because you can see things clearly and there's a lot more which you can overlook in smaller decks now i'm going to take out four cards one for the general outlook love romance and relationships career and finance and spiritual growth so for wow wow e general outlook you get the judgment card as i said a lot of second chances things from the past coming up for you to process for you to heal for your love romance and relationship the queen of wands beautiful for your career and finances the wheel of fortune wow and for your spiritual growth you get the two of pentacles all right seems very positive let's further amplify and or clarify all these cards so we will clarify the overarching energy with the old lenormand old style lenormand deck you get the tower number 19 or the number 1 or the number 10 could be significant we're going to take out two cards from the tealy fortune telling cards and i'm going to shut my eyes once i put my hands in here yeah, okay and we're going to pull out two cards from this to further amplify and or clarify your general outlook ah uh, 1 and you get kangaroo unsettled times need to plan ahead and you get tree affairs with your family all right now we're going to take out another new deck of mine a gift from my mom this is the true love oracle and we're going to get one card to further amplify and or clarify your Love, romance, and relationships, and you get yin and yang. Wow, the number nine could be significant. Beautiful, wonderful. A 
for your career and finances we are going to take out one card from the um, making magic cards by priestess moon <laughs> look at that just for confirmation healing true healing of the mind body and soul just remember that all right i love these confirmations it happened in the last pile as well and maybe in the last last ones i mean taurus and aries all right so what do you get you get successful career what else do you need with the wheel of fortune here a happy working environment pay rises and promotion wow you're on a roll my dear gemini what else do you need i'm going to take out a card from the soul's journey oracle to for the amplify and clarify your spiritual growth and you get regret i know i cannot change the past all right so we've got all your cards here we're going to dive into this reading before i take out advice cards and whatever else there is all right and before we do that i'm going to take a sip of water all right my dear gemini the overarching energy is that it is a time for healing balsamic moon a lot of themes are going to be coming as i said during this eclipse season and retrograde for you know things that you have uh been through already in the past uh it could be relationships it could be just emotions it could be anything you know something which you don't quite enjoy thinking about or something that you think about so much that you're obsessing over it something but from the past which has a hold on you and this is the time for you to acknowledge it be kind to yourself in the process and heal from it because no one needs to have power over you except for yourself and you are going to in this process of healing you are finally going to take back that power all right with that additional card which fell which says healing it is time for you so for some of you if you've been neglecting your physical body or your you know mentally you're under a lot of stress or it could be emotional it's time for you to start coming into balance now all right whatever it is had its hold on you for a long time and you are ready now see the tower card in tarot is a tower which is on fire people falling out because it was not built on a uh, firm foundation but look at the tower that you get you have worked really hard to make a beautiful life for yourself but if there is that small little niggle you know which does keep you happy it's this thing from the past and now it's time for you you know the universe says that you worked really hard to build a beautiful life but somewhere deep down inside you're not happy and that happiness will come from within and it will come when you take back your power so this is what you're going to be either you do it or you will be forced to do it you know because the universe has its ways to make you uncomfortable uh, till the time you actually say all right i'm going to deal with it once and for all so this is the time with this judgment card here you being asked to wake up you know by the universe that you've been hiding from this thing long enough you've been trying to uh do everything be right by everyone but you've been neglecting yourself and somewhere deep down inside it's taking a toll on you and so this theme is coming back for you and says now you have to deal with it you have swept it under the carpet for a long long time for some of you it's got to do with your family you've got to deal with it you've got to speak it out whatever is your truth speak your truth all right it may lead to unsettled times in the sense that you know people won't be expecting it they won't expect you to stand up for yourself uh take back your power for each of you it's going to be different all right but know that after that little um, discomfort you are going to be liberating yourself all right 
so if you're wondering how to say it should i say it shouldn't i say it this means something to me but it'll hurt abc just speak your truth you owe it to yourself my dear gemini's just speak it and you are ruled by mercury and mercury is in retrograde so um maybe you can delay this talk to after 14th of may process it till then in your mind how you're going to talk about it what you you know be very clear about what it is that you want heal yourself from this thing and then go and speak to whoever you have to speak you are getting a second chance bring it all out there preferably as i said after 14th of may because you are wonderful as far as communication is concerned you are ruled by mercury you and virgos and uh, but as i said mercury has been in retrograde from the 21st of april till the 14th of uh, may so usually during this time when you communicate you know if you leave anything um, for them to decipher they won't decipher it if you leave anything for people to read between the lines they'll read it all wrong so uh, you might as well wait till the 14th of may before you have this conversation but before that be very clear about it in your head in your heart all right so that you can liberate yourself once and for all for your love romance and relationships look at that this is you my dear gemini you are looking so beautiful you are uh, and it doesn't matter how you identify um, gender wise but when i say you're beautiful in the sense that like the queen of wands you are attractive you are a magnet people are drawn to you you've had a glow up i mean you know uh, you are in a great um you know energetically you are so vibrant so exuberant that all eyes you know they just focus in your direction all right now for those of you who are single out there looking your best and feeling your best actually more than uh, the looks in the conventional way that people see people should be in such and such a way for them to look gorgeous no it's actually a misnomer it's your energy if you exude that exuberance of yours wherever you are however you look whether you're tall whether you're short whether you're fat whether you're thin whether you're dark whether you're fair whether you got thick hair lousy hair it does not matter if you have that particular exuberance in your energy your aura will attract so many people to you and you are here at this time whether you realize it or not you are in a beautiful place and you are going to be attracting a fire sign uh, uh could be a leo very strongly or an aries or sagittarius all right you may meet this person outdoors and this could be a beautiful relationship now how far it will go uh for some of you with this yin and yang this person could actually be a high level soulmate or even your twin flame if it is a twin flame it's going to be a beautiful connection but a roller coaster ride and it will definitely push you right uh, back into your healing uh, you know if it is a soulmate connection it could be a very long term connection it could be a very beautiful connection either ways you're going to be learning a lot it's going to be a beautiful time so for those of you who are married again you are coming into balance and because you come into balance your masculine and feminine energies are coming into balance your connection with your partner is also coming into a balance you're going heading towards a very beautiful place a harmonious place lot of understanding lots of love and a beautiful sense of balance all right so this is very very positive even in your relationship because you are coming into balance everything works out fine all right but those of you who have not done your healing you're going to be pushed here to do this healing and say please heal yourself before you move ahead for your career and finances you get the wheel of fortune lady luck is smiling at you you have done your work she is very happy with you and she says this is your time to shine so for um, and with this here successful career a happy working environment pay rises and promotion so you know what you uh, in for all right so there's going to be a lot of luck lot of abundance lot of uh, rewards and accolades and everything coming your way so this looks beautiful for you my dear gemini's and last but not the least we come to the spiritual growth mm you are weighing your options and you regret 
the fact that you cannot change the past but guess what the past is coming up for you to process and you may not be able to change the past but you can actually learn from it and bring out a beautiful future which you you know you're you're going to be catapulted to a beautiful future just when you heal your past so all you need to do is heal your past know that it was there to teach you something it had to be this way that's why it happened this way you can't be any other way this was meant to happen that's why it happened there's nothing that you can do to change that but you can change your thinking you can change your attitude and you can change giving your past more power than yourself your life who you are at this present moment is the only reality it is the only thing that is actually powerful so why give it away all right so this is what you are going to realize in this month of may my dear gemini all right so with that we come to the end of your basic reading i'm going to take out one card of advice from the prism oracle and then one from the spirit animal oracle and we get peace beautiful look at that so you will heal and you will finally make peace with your past and what else do you need and that's because you're coming into this great balance all right which is beautiful my dear gemini this is such a wonderful reading such a beautiful reading and so befitting uh for those of you who were definitely born in uh may and even otherwise it's such a beautiful reading spirit animals <clears throat> you get the how, look at that what did i just tell you there's nothing more beautiful than being in the now all right and you get be here now the number 34 the number 7 could be significant yes this is the only reality here and now and that's what you're supposed to, you've been in the past for long it's helped it's held you um back from your true fullest potential but it's okay now you're going to make peace with it and you're going to be in your present so that you can make a beautiful future for yourself but live in the now and this is something that you're going to learn and embrace during this month of may which is beautiful Where is it that you're going to see maximum changes during the month of May, and you get success? Yes, with a successful career. For some of you, it is here. For some of you, it is here. For some of you, it's both. All right, and for most importantly, it is here that you actually heal yourself, which is why you are getting all this success. All right, because that's the universe rewarding you for a job well done. You've taken care of yourself. You've healed yourself, and so you get rewarded. Now if there's a time specific question on your mind think about it it's going to come to you any time between now and November All right and last but not the least if there's any kind of question you have on your mind any urgent question something that you've been asking you know the gods for answers well your angels are coming down to give you the answer Oh that just flipped over where is that card Did you see a card flip over? I did. I did. I did. What was that? Is it? It will come again if it has to. <laughs> Look at that. All right. I'm sure that it did flip over. All right. So the angels are ready to give you an answer, and the answer is. unlikely so whatever it is that you've come to the reading for, for hoping for a confirmation the uh, angel say unlikely so when you get this card of unlikely it may not be at this time uh, maybe it come later here haha <laughs> this is the card which flipped and so this is an additional message for you meditation brings answers So for those of you who don't know how to heal or if you've been uh, wondering how to heal and you've been wondering should I communicate 
first heal and then communicate don't expect the communication to bring healing all right you're getting a second chance now but you need to know what it is that you want you make the peace within yourself first so that you can communicate the same there is going to be a lot of peace if you need answers meditate all right but you are powerful and you will not give your power power away my dear gemini's all right just remember that and so that is the end of your reading wish you a happy birthday uh, my mayborn gemini's once again and for the rest of you this is a beautiful beautiful month ahead waiting for you so just do your healing and then it's party time all right so catch you again and as i mentioned earlier if you want to check out those readings they'll be in the description box below do they check them out for answers if you need them all right bye bye